Have you been diligently searching for your dream home? Four beds, three full baths, over 2,400 square feet, built just a little over a year ago? Well, if you have, you are in luck. My name is Chris Witten, and welcome to 117 Man School Road here in Smithfield. So welcome back to our video guided tour. If you've never watched one of these before, um, hang in there with us. I'm gonna show you all the amazing things that this home has to offer. But before we get in there, I wanna let you know that we're at 117 Man School Road. Where is that? Well, it's here in Smithfield and um, close to everything. Now, we moved to Smithfield a few years ago and have fallen in love more and more every day with this town. So I personally live just up the road here. Gorgeous home. Um, Time-wise, where are you at? Smithfield Commons, we all know, the Big Daves, the Target, the Home Depot. You can be there in probably seven, eight minutes from here. Um, 295 is right next door there, so you're right near the highway from here. If you go the other way, Connecticut, not too far away. Route 44, going that way, very close by. So location-wise, Smithfield, perfect, especially if you're looking um, or you work at Fidelity Bryan. Um, all sorts of restaurants in town. So now, let's focus on this home, an absolutely gorgeous home. It's basically new construction. Um, my sellers here purchased this in November of 2022. We're talking it's just a little over a year old. Amazing home here, over 2,400 square feet, four good-sized bedrooms, three good-sized bathrooms, all the bells and whistles, all the high-tech gadgets. You've got a two-car garage, you've got a fenced-in backyard, all sorts of great things going on here. Let's get you inside. I can't wait to show you every great detail of this home. Welcome inside. So much to show off here in our few minutes together. So let's start first here in the kitchen. Um, and just like a new modern home, you have lots of open area, lots of open space to kind of hang out. So here, let's start in the kitchen because there's a lots of fancy, lots of good going on here. I'm a geek, I'm a tech geek. Um, you can see down here, a lot of these things, almost everything but the dishwasher is on Wi-Fi, can be connected to an app. Um, they're all smart, so you've got a uh, great gas stove here. Um, this one's KitchenAid, everything else is cafe. Yeah, even the, the, the vent here, the hood, that is Wi-Fi. Um, this fridge here, you are going to fall in love with. It's a cafe. By the way, if you do your Keurig at home, you have it on the counter. I actually have never seen one of these in person. You put your Keurig in here, boom, it's got the hot water, takes care of all of it. Of course, along with your crushed ice, the water, that sort of thing. Lots of great things going on here. When you get here in person, you're gonna see more, but check that out, a walk-in pantry tucked away. Yeah, once you have one of those, you'll never go back. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous countertops. There's your backyard. Again, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up the video when we get there in person. Tons of storage space in here. Um, you got your wine, you like the Merlot, what do you like, the cabs. Um, all can go down in here in your little fridge underneath your island. Microwave tucked away here, again, all our cafe, high-end, great quality stuff. So here is your kitchen. Again, you're gonna to wanna to spend tons of time when you get here in person in the kitchen. Let's head now over to this open area. So as you can see, you've got the lights dangling. Um, check out our MLS listing with the professional photos. You can see um, as it's uh, vacant right now, but you can see what it looks like with some staging in there with some furniture. But you can easily have a table here, which works well to kind of sit at, do some homework with the kiddos or relax, read the paper. Um, here flows right in to your large living room slash family room. You can see you've got your vaulted ceilings. Yes, you have central AC. Yes, we have all sorts of LED lighting. Um, again, the home was built only just over a year ago. You've got your ceiling fan up there. You have your gas fireplace, which is propane. Um, the whole home is on propane for many of things. We'll go over that as we get rocking throughout the rest of the video. Um, nice TV up there. There is a high-end um, video surveillance uh, security system in place. This little box here that sits behind your mounted TV. You can flip your TV in a heartbeat and see all the cameras, all the security. Pretty cool stuff, right? This isn't just a, hey, a bling. This is a, the real deal security system. Swing on through here is your dining room, and I love how it all flows, right? You've got your Harvey windows, and here is your dining room. Great space for it, and again, here's the door we came into, right? So you come right in, it's very welcoming, the lay layout that you have here. Um, yes, it's open, but it's also defined, and if that makes any sense, right? So 
This is clearly your dining room. You wanna put a hutch on the wall, you can do that. You've got your plug there. Um, by the way, there's Cat 7 lines running throughout pretty much the entire home. Again, so many great upgrades and updates beyond just the general new construction package that were done in here that are gonna benefit you. So before we head upstairs, I do wanna show you a bunch more down this end, down this hallway here past the kitchen. We'll start here with the first room. Here is a full bath. Yes, it's not just a half bath here on the first floor. You've got a full bath. It's a walk-in shower, uh, which is great. You've got your pedestal sink, gorgeous tile floors. And then the next door over, for those of you that need a home office, maybe you need a playroom, maybe you need an extra room. This is technically a bedroom here in the home if you need it. Um, large windows, you've got your closet. And of course, I haven't mentioned this, but you can see there's this gorgeous hardwoods throughout the entire first floor. And at the very end of this hall, let's not forget, you have a large laundry room. Stackable washer dryer there, you have plenty of storage. You need to yank out the old uh, ironing board, you can do that. And it's great because it's got its own door, it's separated, let the laundry do its thing. When you have family over, you have friends over, just shut the door and you're ready to rock. So the cool part about this section of the home here is that a lot of people nowadays need a first floor bedroom with a first floor full bath. So that's what you have here. If you have someone that has mobility issues, a guest room where maybe you have an in-law or some family that comes up from time to time, maybe you have someone that comes home from college, needs a space, you've got that going on here with a full bath and the bedroom. Let's head on and up upstairs now. We have three bedrooms upstairs and two full baths to show off. Just gorgeous stuff everywhere you turn in this home. So as we make our way here to the second floor uh, upstairs, you can see just the, the wood, the detail. Uh, again, not just your cookie cutter, Home Depot type of stuff. Come on in here to your primary suite. This is a good sized primary suite with um, three, two good sized windows and you even have a window tucked away here in the back. So you can easily put your bed here. If you wanted to put a bed here, you can get creative. This is probably your best spot. Can you put a king size bed in here? Of course you can. Plenty of space with the nightstands, with maybe even a chair in the corner, with a bureau, whatever you need. However, you're probably not gonna need too many bureaus because you've got your walk-in closet right here. And the good thing about this walk-in closet is you're not kinda tucked away trying to dance to do your thing. You got here, 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 plenty of space. It's a functional walk-in closet for you. And then head right on in here to your full bath. This full bath, again, good size, gorgeous tile here in your shower. Um, the detail in the shower is beautiful. Uh, with your glass door, you've got some nice tile work, you've got the double vanity here, uh, you've got a lot of good things going on, and you have your closet, and it's not just a little linen closet, good size linen closet here in the bathroom. And then of course you've got your window to look out in the back in the morning once you're getting up doing your thing. So here from your primary suite, we head right across the hall to two good size bedrooms. So this one here, to be honest with you, I've sold many homes in my days that this size of a room would be a large primary bedroom. This is your second bedroom. Good, good size. Hardwood floors, you do have your ceiling fan. Again, there's central air in here. You don't have to worry about it, but sometimes it's good just to have that ceiling fan. Two large Harvey windows overlooking your side yard. Good size closet in here. Plenty of space in bedroom number two and pretty close to the same size in bedroom number three right next door. Again, great size, some recessed lighting in here, lots of natural light with your oversized windows, good closet space, ceiling fan. You are looking great for your three beds here on the second floor. And then right outside of both of those second and third bedrooms is your full bath here um, for those two bedrooms. Detailed decorative tile, you can also see you've got your shower slash tub and you have uh, also this closet here is deep. It goes deep, this linen closet here in this third bathroom. So before we head outside and show you your over, just about an acre and a half 
that you have outside in the warmer weather is really amazing, is I wanna take you to the uh, lower level. There's an unfinished portion of the lower level and the garage. Usually, again, I don't take you there in these video tours, but you need to see it because there's lots of finishing possibilities and the garage has a couple of really cool perks that I have yet to see in other homes. So here in the lower level, as you're coming in from your garage, and we'll take you there in a second, you can see the attention to detail even here in this mudroom area. Um, we're gonna take you through here in a bit, that's where it can be finished, but you got your mudroom. And check out the garage here briefly. You can see that you've got a nice epoxy floor, looking great, durable. You don't see that too often. The thing you very rarely see, um, and you can see there's a central vac throughout the home too, you very rarely see hot water and cold water, spouts, spigots here in the garage. So if you want to wash your car with a little bit of warm water, you can do that here in this home. So maybe you need a little bit more room than just over 2,400 square feet. You've got the possibilities down here. Um, as you can see, good ceiling height and the uh, builder actually put in some rough plumbing for a full bath if you needed to. Toilet, sink, and a possible shower right here um, with an ejector. You've got some great appliances here. As you can see, you get a Renai tankless, that's on propane. Your forced hot air is also propane, your propane tanks outside. You've got a whole house generator, which you'll see on the Generac is there. That's the Cadillac of all whole house generators. 200 amp service, lots of great things going on here. And by the way, Wi-Fi garage door openers as well, which is a pretty cool feature. I just wanted to take you a peek down here because there is more possibilities. You're saying, I love this home, but I maybe need a little bit more space pretty easily, you've got it. I'll meet you outside, I gotta show you this yard. All right, so welcome to your backyard. Now I know it's winter. The warmer days are on the way. We've kind of hit that hump where now we're headed towards the warmer days in spring and summer, right? So 1.49 acres is what you got, just under an acre and a half. Here out your back sliders, you have a decent sized deck, you've got your composite um, track, you know, your decking, you've got some vinyl rails. Um, there's your Generac, as we were talking about, high end, um, so you don't have to worry if, God forbid, you lose some power, your whole house generator. These, uh, these owners here did put up this fence. There's a chain link fence that goes that way to the side. They've got doggies. It was perfect for them to just let them out. There's a vinyl portion over here. If you need to expand that, you can, because again, you're sitting on 1.49 acres. Lots of good things going on here. Um, lots of space. You are here on a septic, but again, it's a brand new home just as of a, a little over a year ago. Um, so you're thinking, well, it's a septic. I can't really use a um, garbage disposal. They have a, an incinerator garbage disposal that is septic friendly. It's got this whole enzyme stuff going on in there. So that again, it's just another great perk for this home. So as you can see, there's tons of great things going on here with this home. That's why I started this video by saying it's your dream home because honestly, They've thought of everything from all the Wi-Fi high-end appliances. Your Keurig's right with the hot water is right in your refrigerator. Um, all sorts of great things going on here. Hardwood floors basically throughout the entire home. And again, it's almost like you're buying new construction. They took very good care of it. It's a little over a year old. You've got your two-car garage right down here. Easy in, easy out for these New England winters. But I can't say enough good things about the town of Smithfield. So if you want to reach out to me personally, I'd be more than happy if you're not sure about what Smithfield has to offer. I am head over heels for this town. The best decision I've made in the last few years was moving here three years ago. And I think you would love it here as well. So my name is Chris Witten from Premier Real Estate. You are at 117 Man School Road here in Smithfield. Let's get you in here to see it for your second showing.